future. Talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at ubnradio.com. Char Margolis, Char Communications Incorporated, and Char Vision LLC do not endorse or offer for any purpose but entertainment the views of any guest or other expert on Char Vision or UBN. I knew things before they happened from the time I was a child. At the age of eight, I saw a spirit at the foot of my bed and didn't know what it was. And in my 20s, I finally realized I had a special ability that could help others. I have learned that love never dies. There is a spirit world that can communicate with us, and we all have the gift of intuition. Join me, and together we will explore the possibilities of the unknown from beyond and more. This is Char Vision. Hey everybody, it's Sunny and Char. Welcome to Char Vision. This is our second week, and we're live. Well, I'll be talking to dead people, but we're live. And I'm very excited because my guests today are Heather Dubrow and her husband, Dr. Terry Dubrow. Is it, is it, is it Dubrow or Dubrow? Dubrow. Dubrow. Yes. I said it right the first time. And um, Terry was kind of corralled into this last <laughs> minute. And I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful you guys are both here because you know what today is? School for Psychics. <laughs> Oh, awesome. And so I'm, I, I really, my goal in life has always been to take away fear, fear of death by knowing we see our loved ones again, and fear of life and living by knowing that we all have the gift of intuition and we can prevent problems and attain goals in our lives when we listen to our intuition. So um, you were kind enough to allow me to teach you today. And, uh, but I, before we start working on that, um, I want to just update the, our audience. Uh, I was on Maria Menounos' show, uh, Untold Stories, with Heather. Heather was kind enough to allow me to read for her. And, uh, and I don't know if anybody out there saw it, and we, were, we weren't allowed to really show the show because it's E-Network and it's, we're different, we're UBN. So um, do you remember what was said in the reading or do you not remember? Oh no, I absolutely remember, and also my my oldest daughter was with me, oh, and you yes. spoke to her as well. No, I thought it was very enlightening and eye-opening. And actually, um, w I had told you about some stuff that was going on with me, and you kept talking about some products, some products, some products. And Terry and I launched our skincare line. We've been working on it for like 10, 15 years, and we finally launched this past April. Congratulations. Thank you. And wow. Evine, isn't that funny? This was before that? Yeah. Wow. This was, when did we do that show? Was it last February? I January? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm well, longer. Even lo no, longer, right? Longer. Last fall, maybe, even. Yeah, it was, it was a longer. long time ago. Yeah. So it was, we hadn't made the deal with Evine yet. We were still working on our products, but we didn't have everything set in place. And since then, we launched in April. We had Evine's largest beauty launch in their history. Wow. And we've been back three times, and, you know, it's going great. We're really excited about it. Are you on Home Shopping Network? or it, It's called Evine. It is, is a shopping light? network. Oh, it is a yeah. shopping network. Mm -hmm. used to be Shop HQ or Shop NBC. Oh, wow. And so it's the third largest of the shopping channels. So when are you on again? When can people see you? September. September. October and November. Okay, yeah. September 2015. And October and, and November. It, it, yeah. And if you go to heatherdubrow.com, all that information is always updated, and you can see when we're going to be there. But what's fun is... We um, we actually have put it on the show on the Real Housewives of Orange County, so it oh, you becomes have. part of our yeah. storyline. So you haven't seen it wow. yet on the show. So whoever's out there watching, you know, wait for it. But it's cool because you know usually and, and what are these products? It's also it's it's basically non solar non surgical solutions to anti aging. Oh, it's an internal external approach to anti aging. So there's a drink two drinkable products, ingestibles, and then five topicals. Wow. Yeah, I'm all for it. Thanks. I'm count me in. <laughs> <laughs> we have to start bringing goodie bags. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll spend my whole day taking and doing <laughs> and whatever you need to do. That No, it's great because those things really work. Oh yeah. 
This, they, is, this uses new technology that's based in real science and real studies that mm -hmm. actually decreases your wrinkles if you drink collagen, a type of collagen that you can drink and doesn't get broken up by your gastric acids. Is it fattening? No. No, I'm getting some. <laughs> no, you know, and what's funny is, you know, everyone always assumes because I'm married to a plastic surgeon that I've had all this plastic surgery done. I, you know, I haven't had any plastic surgery. You are gorgeous. Thank you. You're very sweet. But I, you know, I maybe someday will have it. I'm not saying I'm against it. Right. It pays our mortgage. You know, I'm very grateful right. for plastic surgery. Right. But I really enjoy non-surgical solutions. I would like to, you know, stave it off as long as possible. So it's really been a labor of love over the last decade and a half. But what's cool about it is we get to do it together. Yeah. Well, you guys, you have four kids, you mm -hmm. were saying, in the green room. Yeah. And, and you've been together for how many years? Almost 20. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And you guys really, you can tell that you love each other. How it, could you not love this? Uh, <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I have a hard time being with couples that don't get along. We well, yeah, had uncomfortable. I Look, know. Look, there's ebbs and flows to every relationship. Right. You know, you have good. Sometimes you have good days, bad days, good years, bad years. Right. You know, that happens. But I think in general, when you start with a good foundation, it works. And for us, we got married a little older. We met a little older, and so you were older. I was young. Ah, right, <laughs> honey. If that makes you feel better to say that, please. <laughs> by all means. <laughs> so. When, okay, so I, I, I've already read for you, and, and I, for anyone who wants to see it, they can go on online and watch the Mar Maria Menounos Untold Stories. Um, we just Google our names, and you'll probably see it. But what I do remember, because I watched it recently, is that I picked up on, I think it was your grandpa, because he had the same name as my father, Herbert. Mm -hmm. And then I also... And somebody, his Beatrice or yes. Beatrix his was wife. His, his wife, yeah. right? I remember that. But I also remember a really sad thing. And it was a um, younger person who passed away who was, is this your brother? Is it your brother-in-law? Yeah, it was Terry's Kevin brother. or Kenny or Kevin, something? Kevin, my older Kevin. brother, yeah. Yeah, I'm so, so, so sorry about that. Yeah. Do you feel him? Do you ever feel his energy? Not at all. Never. You know, he, I was, I'm his younger brother, and uh, he was very unkind to me growing up. Oh. And so, and he became very, very successful. He was a big rock star in the 80s. And what group was he in? He was in a band called Quiet Riot. Oh. He was a lead Remember, singer. Remember, come on, feel, feel the, the noise. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's him. That's good. Singer. So, he was a big rock oh. star in the 80s, and uh, he just was so intense and so unnice to me not nice. Aww. So I don't know. I have no feeling at all for But him. you know what you did tell me, Char, which was so funny. You'll enjoy what? this. So Coco, who's our four-year-old, who right now on Real Houses of Orange County, everyone's getting a dose of Coco and her right. her difficult personality. But Char, you told me that, that you told me Coco's difficult and she's going to be. And you said Kevin was going to have a hand in fixing her. Really? Yeah. He's watching out for her. And Good. she's doing better? No. He better step it up. <laughs> She's a pain. She's can, great. Can you tell Kevin to step it up? <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, do you guys believe in a spirit world, though? Do you believe that? Yes, I or do. do you believe in your own intuition? Oh, that. I, no question okay. about it. Okay. So, in because, everything. you know, there's two, what, there's two sides to this. One is a spirit world, which I do believe in. Yeah. But I also believe, mm. as you do, in intuition. And, and because the future can change at any moment, at any second, because of someone else's choice or decision, we all need to be in sync with the energy and in the moment so we know, like if some guy last minute drunk decides to go out in his car mm -hmm. and drive crazy and you have a gut feeling not to drive down that street, you don't do it. Right. And the most important thing about intuition is not only to listen to it when we have it, but to act upon it. So you were saying something about in um, in your practice mm -hmm. about your intuition. Yeah, I've always been very spiritual and very in touch with that. And I can give you seven, eight, nine examples where in my own medical practice where a patient had a potentially very def devastating life threatening problem but had no manifestations of it no symptoms or signs wow but and i've done this my office thinks i'm like we say it's his freaky. spidey sense yeah, yeah we call it spidey sense wow and i mean a year ago for example just to give you a clean example uh, a patient come in i did a tummy tuck on her and five days out she was doing great how are you doing she's doing great i'm doing great i said 
and I sent her to get a special test of her chest to see whether she had a pulmonary embolus, which is- Out of nowhere. I just, just didn't like, I, I just didn't like, yeah. I'm very, very sensitive to things of health with wow. people. And, um, and so I called, she didn't want to go, it was a Friday at two o'clock and I wanted to go work out and be with my family. Anyway, I sent her over and she had bilateral, both sides, pulmonary embolus. And had we wow. not treated it, she'd be dead. And, and the thing is, is you that- You saved her life. Well, I've, so and what's, <clears throat> my office thinks I'm freaky because I have done this so many times. And also if a patient comes in and looks like they're a bad candidate for surgery, even though they have they don't have any particular medical problems that would rule them out for a surgical procedure. Mm -hmm. If they look, if I feel like they're, it's too, I don't do it. And even, and if someone looks healthy, um, or if they look like they're sickly, I will do it because if they clear, of course, medical clearance by you know their doctor, I will. Even if my office is going, don't do this. They look unhealthy. I will do it because I know. I feel like I know if they're gonna. Do fine, and it's always been. I've been a practicing plaque surgeon for over twenty years. Wow. It's never failed me, never. I mean, in the middle of an operation, I can feel if if the pulse goes up, you know, to a hundred. In one patient, I know that's not dangerous. Another patient, it's a sign that something's going badly, so and I always, almost always, pick it up. Huh. Always. You're like a medical intuitive. I mean, no you're, you're a learned intuitive, and you're. But you even know, in medical a, school, a medical I was that doctor. way. Even in medical school, because I was that you way. now, as a child, did you have intuition and feelings about things? Um, I, you know, I always maybe, maybe I did. I'm not sure, but certainly as a doctor, no question about it. Don't you think I? Oh, absolutely. I yeah, always, no, he's got and great intuition. Heather, have you had intuition about your children? Like, there's mother's intuition. Well, I or think even we all in your have, life or yeah, around injured. people. The one thing I've noticed about myself is that if I, you know, sometimes I can like someone because pretty much when I meet people, I like them. I can be wrong. But when I meet someone and I have a bad feeling, I think Terry will probably attest to this. If I have a bad feeling about someone, it's always correct. She's always right. If I have a really weird negative vibe about someone, it doesn't matter if it comes out a year later, a month later, to five years later, I'm always right. So you know what you're doing, right? you're feeling their energy. Like everybody has their own unique energy thumbprint. So what you're doing is that you're, you're it's kind of like your ner nerve endings are going out and feeling them, and then you're getting a response. You're getting a true intuitive response. And it, you should always absolutely listen to that. That's, that's, that's a, a gift too. That's an ability, that's a gift when you know this, because then you know how to stay out of harm's way with absolutely. this. Absolutely. Okay. In my practice, I can go to the mail we get big mail every day, <laughs> yeah. and the 21st day of the of the month, for example, right. I'll walk over to the mail and I'll go, ooh, this is bad. And sure enough, I pass through and I find the thing from the governmental agency <laughs> or whatever, it's, and it's always accurate. My office says, oh my God. I say, yep, something bad in the mail today. Wow. It's a drag. But you know, you know instinctively. I know, I know, I always know. So you will always act on that, right? Ugh. No matter what, no matter how busy you are, no matter how Ugh. hungry you are, no matter right. how tired you are. And yet he you can't always need to intuitively know what I want for our anniversary. <laughs> I know what, what she want wants. That's why I don't act on it. <laughs> what does she want? Something Not extraordinarily <laughs> shiny and expensive. Oh, please. <laughs> Probably earned it. I was yeah. just going to say that. For sure <laughs> she's, earned, she's it. earned it. Okay, so uh, when, before I, I t teach people to be intuitive, I've got some, some things that I, that I tell them. And I feel like you guys are already like, you know, this is, I'm, this is 101, you're, you're probably, you know, 102 or 201 <laughs> or whatever the college is. So first of all, you have to know your psychic. You can't just believe your psychic, you have to know because knowing means certainty. So you know this already, right? So you own it, you own this power. Because if you you have to have confidence in anything you do in life, right? Because you're not going to be good at it if you don't. Um, I always say a prayer protection before I read for people, and not because this is a religion. It's not, but I believe that thoughts create reality. Thoughts have wings. Thoughts have power, and positive energy 
And positive thoughts attract positive thoughts and positive energy. And negative energy attracts po negative energy and oh, say that. negative thoughts. Who says that? Hey, Terry says that all the time. You say it. See? He could have written my book. <laughs> we could have read it. We could have co-written it, and you could have promoted it on your, on your show. Then, anyway, just joking. Okay, so... So when, when, what, are you writing no, a book? No, we're writing a book, yeah. I, I just I said, say, I just to, thought you're writing a book. We just got a big book deal. Yeah, yeah. We I, I, I just had a feel, I just yeah. thought that. Are you writing yeah. a book? Yeah. We are. Yeah, it's going to do great. I, 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 I'm sure of it. And you'll probably do, like, book signings all around. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah, we they're going to make you do it. Well, we want it. We like you it. You want it? Good. Because yeah. you're together. <laughs> yeah. You're together. Oh, yeah. that's, this is going to be a great book. I have a really good feeling about this book. Well, you had a good feeling about the products, and that's going well. The products so. are huge. Yeah. Like yeah. Well, this is just the beginning of all your your what is it called? Your brand. Yeah. Th by the way, that's exactly what we talk about daily for the last few months. What? It's the beginning our, of your brand. This is the beginning of our brand. Well, our you have four kids to put through college. Yes. Yes. Hopefully they'll go. And to shiny college. things to buy her. <laughs> that's for, right. For, for, that's for the main her reason. anniversary. Yeah. You know what? It's been it's been fun. I mean, it's been a very cool. We've had a sort of an interesting journey over the last several years. Yeah, yeah, it's meant to be. You guys are soulmates. Oh, yeah. But, you know, and for people at home, and you know, a soulmate is someone who helps your soul to grow. So these guys have been really lucky. Last week we had my sister on who's been married for 59 years to my brother-in-law. I was a follower girl at their wedding. He's been in my family since I, he met her when I, uh, I was one year old. My sister was 14. And then my other sister was on, and she's been married for 40 years. So wow, I've been around, and my parents were married for 45 years. 46 years so I've been around people who have had long-term relationships who really truly love each other and work at it you got it's not easy you work at a relationship right? absolutely okay so then I, I teach about the four C's you have to have the courage the confidence the commitment to conquer so the courage to do it the confidence which you guys have um, and commit yourself to doing it and then you'll conquer it and and I think conquering it is Ha being brave enough to act upon it, mm -hmm. and when, and also maybe put a white light around yourself of protection, just to make sure only positive energies around you. Just picture, imagine you're lit up like the sun, and that any and and you're so bright that if anyone were to look at you, your their eyes would hurt. And I I tell people to do this every day in their own lives for protection, just every single day. Nice. Teach your kids, teach everybody to you know everybody should learn to do this and then you take the white light and you swirl it around you and anything dark or negative that you may feel coming at you just send it back to where it came from because it's not welcome okay so it's i'm gonna i i guess i'll have you read me because you don't really know me and you don't know, know anything about me and you might mix me up with elisa because she's in the room or john but um do you shave? No, can I? <laughs> Do I what? Shave. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Um, okay, so you, you need, your, now you might pick up on someone deceased around me. You might pick up, which you might, or you just might pick up on something about me, and I will be honest with you. And um, you got kind of let, got to let your mind go blank, and you, got, you can't try hard. You don't want to try. You want to just kind of be relaxed and let you just let kind of like your mind just go blank. And it's a thought that comes to you. It's not a thought you think. It's kind of thought brought into you. Like when the male, he gets a feeling that the something bad's in the mail and he goes and there's something bad. So it's kind of like that. When the, the thought floats into you, you might, give, you might give me an initial, you might give me a name, you might give me a situation. Just... What's the first, thi first thing that comes to your mind? The first thing that I thought of was sweet young soul. Sweet young soul. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Sweet young soul. So, you mean me? Yeah. Or? Oh, thank you. Do, but do you think I'm an, a young soul or an old soul? Uh, you just seem very young. I mean, wise, but young. Thank you. Fresh. Thank you. That's so nice. Okay, now, now let's go to the next step of, what are you getting, Terry? I know you're getting something. I, I'm sure it's wrong. No, say it. I feel loneliness. Oh. I don't know Aww, why. That's I so feel sweet. like you're. I feel that's like you're so lonely. Sweet. Well, I I I'm alone. I'm not in a relationship. I don't feel like I'm lonely, but I am on my own. So that is true. 
I'm, I'm on my own with my chihuahua. So that is true. I don't feel lonely, but... Has there been an increase in loneliness recently? Like the feeling of being alone? Of Maybe the feeling of taking on a lot of responsibilities and handling it myself. That I can honestly say that I've taken on a big chunk of responsibilities lately. No, no recent increase in sadness? No. Well, well, maybe in changes of friendships or the way friendships are. So that would be something. Yeah. Is there someone named Abby? Abby? Or an A? An A initial. An A initial. Um, oh, God. Nikki, are you there? Yes, Bring her up right now. Wait, Nikki, who do I know that's in Is there a someone named Nikki? Yeah, there's someone named Nikki. Wait, <laughs> who's an A initial around me? Um, Poor Nikki. She has to do everything. Um, I should have had a list of names because I'm a terrible... With your condo, there's an A. Oh, yeah. There is. There is. There is somebody I've been just recently has been helping me tremendously who's an A. Yeah. But that's a good relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friendship. Yeah. I mean, just new business, but yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm yeah. good at this. I'm gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So get, then, so book. then, what you do is, <laughs> then what you do is, like, you you get a feeling, so you get it, you get it a name, and then you look beyond it to see what you get with that name. Like, do, can she trust him? Can she not trust him? Is there an issue? Is there not an issue? I can't tell that, but I feel like it's a good relationship. Good. Okay. 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 Go on. I, I, this, I don't know. Go for is, it. Is go for it. Is there something green in your world, in your life, in your house, Very green. your apartment? Color green? It's really weird. Um, the, um, the condo she's talking about, I think it's on the sixth green or something or the fourth green or something. It's on a golf course. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. That's so crazy. But... Yeah, there's green around. Money? But you just and what, Nikki? Can it be money that's green? <laughs> okay, oh, no, Nikki's wanting money. Is it money that's green? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just apparently seeing, not. I'm seeing, <laughs> yeah. Apparently wait, first not. of all, is it coming or going? Green. All <laughs> green. All I don't know why. Green is also calming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it it can represent money as well. Is this a new place but you moved into? I I'm probably going to. Yeah, I'm I going think that's to, a good place but for all you. you like it, yeah. And uh, but also, um, my home in Michigan is green. Everything's green. It's is that your I'm, happy place? Yeah. It's I have a corral and it's green and there's trees all around me and it's green and it's an old farmhouse. And it's green. Yeah. Okay, you're doing good. Keep reading. You guys at home, go work on your computers. I'm getting a reading. <laughs> 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 we have our next book. Um. <laughs> You're very good, though. You're you're really tuning into stuff. Sometimes, if you don't look at me, it's better. Oh, okay. Just kind of don't look Nervous. and just feel the thought that comes in because it's through thought that you get the feelings. It's through thought. It's funny. You feel. I, you feel like. Are you very healthy? Yes. Yeah. You feel super. You have healthy. no medical problems. No. I work very hard. I have all these holistic doctors. Right. And today, um, well, we, uh, I interviewed Dr. David Brownstein, who's going to be on the show. He's an amazing alternative medicine doctor. He's like incredibly, right. writes all these books. He's great. Anyway, they've helped me tremendously. Yeah, I feel, thank God. I feel healthier now than when I was 30. Yeah, you, you seem very healthy. Can I ask Thank you a you. question? Do you, uh, I, I know when you gave me the reading, you could talk about people in my world. Yeah. But we've sort of recently had a situation on our show yeah. where someone got a reading and they were talking about people that weren't necessarily related to them or, you know, secondary or tertiary people. Is that possible? Can you do that? Talk about other people around you? Sometimes it is possible. Anything's possible. But... You know, if you're getting a reading, you want it to be accurate about what's going on with you. But sometimes you can't help it if somebody else's energy is really strong and maybe you talk to them during the day and you start picking up on the person that you had an email from that day or that oh, you were feeling. That is possible. What are you thinking, Terry? 
No, I've, you know, I'm so, as a doctor, all I do is think about medicine. I just see no that's sickness okay. around you at all. But that's <laughs> real, but thank God. I'm going to touch wood on that one, but yeah. thank you. But that's a good, that's a good thing. I see sickness in people. Yeah, because you really are a medical intuitive mm -hmm. as well. You feel that as well as yeah. being, you know, a learned doctor. Right. So yeah, you, but you, thank you. That makes way, me happy. You could have a safe surgical procedure. I, I'm just letting you know. Uh, you oh don't, I, I, okay, you don't are you need one. Right? No, you no, don't I need one. I kind of think I do. I kind of think... I, not yet. Oh, it's now a consult. Wait, Nick, it's gone from <laughs> reading to a consult. <laughs> Nick, Nikki. That's where the green comes okay. in, Nikki. <laughs> right. That's a very expensive right. procedure. Okay. Right, but it's it's kind of like I'm not, I know she'll have a heart attack if I do this, but I'm kind of thinking in time that it'll be, okay, now oh, one more thing. The green is from her pocketbook into mine. That's, yeah. right. that's, that's what that's I'm right. thinking. There you go. That's that's joking. Okay, now give me one name, quick. Bill. Bill, okay. There, there is a bill. Um, are you sure it's not the green money bill? I, I don't know. Is I there, want you to. Is there name. a Catherine? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. You're good at this. Oh. Who's Catherine? Are you gonna make me cry? I knew I needed oh. Kleenex. Mm. I know you don't believe in a spirit world, but if anyone were to come in during this conversation, it would be Catherine because she was like my nanny. She helped raise me. Hmm. And she passed away last year and I flew to North Carolina to say goodbye to her. Wow. Oh my God. And she had a dream. I never in a million years thought I'd ever be able to buy something in California, ever. And she had a dream years and years ago. She says, Shalini, you're gonna buy a house in California. I said, I am, Catherine? And she said, yeah. And she's the one who saw my dad's spirit after he passed away hmm. in the hallway. Because she was my mom's best friend, and she took care of my mom till the day she passed over. Wow. And I, I love that she's here. Because to me, just because you got the name, to me, that's the, because you're just beginners at this. Right. But I feel like you don't even know how connected you can be to the other side because but also in the spirit world there's good and bad so you've got to be careful but Catherine is maybe really she should so. beware of someone okay. named Bill <laughs> but she's on the other side you never know what happens yeah I'm just telling you tell her watch so out we, for maybe Bill. you got Nikki do I have a bill <laughs> um, not that I can think of Was that him? oh wait I do I had an uncle Bill I had an Uncle Bill. Did we like him? Yeah, it was my mom's brother. Oh. Yeah. Did he know Catherine? Of course, everyone knew Catherine. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is really, seriously, I know this is, we're just getting the tip of the iceberg with all this, but you guys have done an amazing job. I mean, really, it's just amazing. And that without, co without cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got to be careful with the you, cocktails you know, and the readings. You, you, know, you know what's mix. interesting? Like, like, what, what? What's interesting with us is we'll be going along. Everything is great, and all of a sudden, one of us will start getting a feeling of verboten. Uh, some things bad's about to happen. We'll get anxious, and we always say, "All right, that may be happening, but we need to push that away and do it because you can. Right. Yeah, you can push the bad away. Everybody, this is really important for everybody to know that you can. You can manifest good things in our lives, and you can push the bad and the evil. He's much better at doing that than I am. I actually find that I need a physical thing. Like I, I always, I've always been fed and healthy and all that. But about like two years ago, I think I was very stressed out doing this reality thing, and so Terry turned me on to this workout, and I started really working out, getting fit, and I, literally, I used to hate when people say, "Oh, I need to work out for my head," like mm -hmm, whatever, but. When when I can't push things away, I will do something physical, and I can push it away. Wow. So Nikki, did we did anyone ask any questions about anything? Actually, yeah, we have. Uh, Thank Mike God, from somebody, <laughs> somebody <laughs> called. Who? Um, someone, uh, Mike from San Diego, wants to know how do I differentiate an instinctive, intuitive hunch from an emotional, irrational feeling. That's a great question, mm -hmm. isn't it? Wow. An intuitive, say that again, an intuitive An hunch. intuitive hunch from an emotional, irrational feeling. How oh, do you tell the difference that's a hard one because, because when we want something and we're emotionally involved, it's hard to be objective about yes. it. Right. It's really hard and really, 
you have to trust that instinct. You have to trust that gut that comes. And practice makes perfect with this because you, you can't get emotionally involved when you're doing readings. It's really much easier when I read for strangers and I don't know anyone and I can tell them things that much, like I said to this one woman, I, I see a lump in your breast and, and she goes and she calls me up and she says, well, you were wrong. I went to the doctor. And she really came because she wanted to know if her husband was having an affair. And was I, he? Yes. And six months later, so, so she says, you're wrong. So she chastised me because, I, because she didn't have a lump in her breast. Six months later, cancer of the breast. Mm -hmm. I didn't wish it on her or anything like that. But, you know, so when you're doing intuitive things, when you're, you're doing psychic things, and especially in the spirit world, there is no understanding of time. Right. It's interesting because I love that question, by the way, because I always fight with that question. Because, for example, if you're going to take a trip, or if somebody you know is going to take a trip, and you have a terrible feeling about that, and that's happened to me, and do you then say, I'm not going to go on this trip. I have a very bad feeling about this. Or you just right. say, you know, that's an irrational fear. I'm going on this right. trip. And when it comes to things like that, I had a really bad feeling about something with our kids recently, and it didn't come true. Thank goodness. Thank God. It remember, was the helicopter ride. I, oh, yeah, we're going to take a helicopter ride in Hawaii. With the kids. But I said, we're all together. We all really, go down. We go down together. I had together. a really <laughs> bad feeling about then it. Then you shouldn't go. But as soon as it's weird, as soon as I got in the helicopter, I went, nah, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> because so you went, oh, then relaxed. you went. Because you I also, went because yeah, I but it was your fear because it was your family and you didn't want anything bad to happen. Yeah. So, so was that was your, irrational. It was your fear. And here's another, what, what, what? I was going to say, I think one good thing to do, which we have done, is like if he's having a thought like that I'll, about work or something, I'll say, Pretend you're talking to, like, his buddy Rob. I said, if Rob told you this story, what would you tell him? And I think if you, because you're saying when you're too close to it and you're too emotional, you right. can't see it, whether right. it's an irrational fear or if it's your intuition. So right. if you turn it around and, and make it about someone else, and right. if you can take yourself out of it, I think it's easier to make an informed I'm, decision. I'm going to use that in my classes. Do it. That's Do I get such a, a good idea. Note, credit? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> That's a really, but it's true. Yeah. It's true. If you, what would you tell someone else? Yeah. And it's also having common sense. Yeah. You know, I say when you use logic, common sense, and intuition, you get your best answer. There's the trifecta. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So, and Nikki, do we have any other questions, or do we have to go? Okay. Um, I, I do have one more. Do you have time? Yep. Uh, it, this is from Mary in Miami. Uh, she Wait, wants to know: Is the direction Mary and in future Miami? of one's life dictated at birth? And if so, can you influence change along the way? Say that again. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. That's okay. Uh, is one's direction and future of one's life dictated at birth? And if so, can you influence change along the way? Okay. Well, um, I've been doing this for over 40 years, so I don't have all the answers. However, what I've learned is some things in life are predestined. But much of life we create by the choices we make. Okay. Free will. Free will and also listening to our intuition to stay out of harm's way. Now some people live in fear all the time. They're scared of their own shadow. They're scared of everything. So when an intuitive thing comes in that says be careful, they don't always acknowledge it because they're always in fear. But when you live in confidence and you live in faith, and you know you're protected, and you know you're guided, and you know that there's something there helping you out, then when a little fear may come in, you go, oh, got to be careful of that, yeah. when you know it's not emotional. Right. Yeah, so I hope I answered that. Nikki, don't you think it's kind of weird that, the, that her name was Mary from Florida? That is, that's strange, right? Yeah, because my friend just passed away, and her name's Mary, and she lived in Florida. Hmm. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, she was a very dear friend. Um, okay, so um, we are, let's see, we're going to, oh, we're going to show a reading in a little while. Okay, we're going to show a reading. Can you guys stick around while we show the reading? Because I don't even think I've read on my show yet, have I? No, Elise is going, no, you haven't even done your, your, your psychic thing yet. Um, do you think maybe there might be a spirit world now? Maybe? No. 
it's not. Uh, you know, I've never questioned that there is really. I I don't know. I I'm a bit of a Buddhist. Oh, that's and, good. And so we call ourselves Bujus. Yeah. Bujus. Yeah. I, and so Buddhism for me means I don't worry about it. I just try to be the that's best very person. That's cool. The best person I can be every minute of every day and live in the moment. So if there is, that's great. If there isn't, I don't. I'll worry about it then. But if I'm a great person now and great to everybody I meet, I do the right thing every single day. Then I'm good. Well, that's <laughs> been one of the bonuses of being on reality television. Because you know we all say regrettable things. You know, no one's perfect. We all right. say stupid things and do right. things that we regret. And when you when it's caught on camera and, and they show it over and over and over again, it's a very interesting learning tool. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to know in, in sort of the Buddhist way that the now is what's important, and, and you can't control what happened yesterday, but you can control where you are now and where you're going. Well, you know, you're saying is. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single, single step. Oy. That's right. That's us. That's right. That's us. That's us. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, you guys. You really, we just got the tip of the iceberg, but you, I know you're connecting. I feel you're connecting. And you're right. I am feeling like I'm taking on a lot of responsibility and I'm all by myself and it's a lot of responsibility. You're right. That's very good, and it took a lot for me to admit that. I may, <laughs> okay, I may so let you read me later. I'll read you. <laughs> so, I've read um, that book a few okay, times. Okay, so here comes the reading. <laughs> so <laughs> please watch, and they'll be back, and I'll be back. Hey, Jen. Thank you for trusting me to read for you. Oh, I my pleasure. I appreciate it. Okay, so um, I, w I just want to explain my process so we can be on the same page. I okay. see things out in the room, so when I'm not looking at you, I'm not being rude, I'm getting messages. Okay. I communicate with that universal energy that is goodness, love, and God. And then along the way, guardian angels, spirit guides, and loved ones who have passed over to the other side come in and help me to help you. So I'm like interpreting another language. I hear things, I feel things, I see things. And my biggest responsibility is being as accurate as I can with what's being given to me. I'm like literally interpreting another language and I, I'll, I'll see images and like I just saw a J on the wall so I gotta figure out what that is but tell me later. So, um, and it's not logical. Two people may have the same name or initial and one could be living and one could be deceased. One could be a grandmother and have the same name as your best friend or middle name of your best friend. So just be open about everybody. I understand that when people come to me they have an agenda and they usually have somebody they want to connect to on the other side or they have questions about their lives but and, and my goal is to get that before you can even ask. But sometimes there's a process to getting there and sometimes there are things you need to know that you don't even realize you need to know. So I'm gonna say my prayer protection that I always say and then we'll start, okay? Okay. We ask the universal consciousness that holds the highest spiritual power of knowledge, wisdom, and truth to guide and protect us as we communicate with our guides and angels in the spirit world and tap into the wisdom of the universe. We respect this opportunity and take full responsibility to use this not for ego or controlling others, but with the pure intention of spreading love and healing life on this earth and beyond. Okay, so I did see a J initial on the wall. So do you have someone deceased that's a J? Or do you have someone living family that's close? Is this a male, the one that's living? Mm, female. Okay, I'm mixed up with this. I just saw a big J floating in front of me, so I don't know where to go with it. And in her name, is there an N in it? In that name? In or her formal name, yes. Is it like a Jacqueline? Mm -hmm, that's what it, her name is. Is Jackie her name? Mm -hmm. And this is your sister, your, your mother? Who is mom. this? Your mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you had some uh, concerns about your mom or about her emotional health or her health? Yes. I feel, I don't feel it's serious, <clears throat> but I feel attention needed to this, needs to be given to this. Um, is, it, is it difficult for you to get to her where she lives? Not physically. Or traf traffic or? Not or is it, physically. Or is it difficult to connect with her or communicate with her? Connect as far as um, deep like emotional emotional yeah. stuff. Who around you is the alcoholic, or is there an alcoholic around your family, or was her parents? Maybe, 
Maybe what? Her dad? Her, maybe. Maybe mm -hmm. her dad. Maybe. And he's deceased, right? Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like he's in here. Maybe. I don't know his name, but I kind of feel like he might be in here. I feel maybe her issues come from them, mm -hmm. from her parents, and so I feel like they're both deceased, her parents. Mm -hmm. And is there an A? No, that's not her. That's not them. Is there an R or B with her parent? No. Or last name? Um. Or is there an E or L with them? With her parents? Mm -hmm. Who's the other, who's E or L? Maybe not her parents. Who's an R or B around you then, deceased? Well, is there somebody oh. that's an R or B? A male? An R. A male? Yes. Is he spelled R-O or R-I or R -I. R Richard or R Rick? Richie. Mm -hmm. Richie. Who is this? He's here. Good. He's somebody I wanted to talk to. He's here. <laughs> he was my best friend's little brother. He's he's here, and he's he wants people to know he's... I feel like he's having a good time over there. Good. That's great news. <laughs> I, I don't know if he was fun when he was here. Mm -hmm. Was he a lot of fun? He was. He's a lot of fun there. Like, people's energy doesn't change just because they go to the spirit world. And I feel like he's 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 um happy and and also like like i talk about how spirits like to use energy to do things like to make things go bump in the night and to make lights mm -hmm. go on and off and to make tvs go on and off and i feel like he likes to do that <laughs> did has she had signs like this or she thinks she did or did you the my best friend yes his sister uh she wanted to. We tried for years to <laughs> to connect with him. <laughs> yes. What did you do? Ouija board or what'd you do? Just um, you know, actually she was. A and why is she showing me a car? Yeah, because he did died. he die in a car? Mm -hmm. Did he have a car accident? Mm -hmm. And then the song. There's a song that reminds her of him. Do you know about that? I, I know that the one that was playing when. When he died, they were hit. Mm -hmm. when they were hit, I don't, I don't remember the song, but she, but she's she, saying he's saying that that song is ingrained in her head mm -hmm. because she was in the car. Yep, and she needs. He wants her to know. She to not feel guilty. She must mm -hmm. feel guilty. She does. Did she drive? Mm -hmm. She's not supposed to feel guilty. So the issue here. For all the healing to go on, and why I do this work, is to help heal the living and help heal the spirit. And you, she, you need to tell her that he doesn't blame her and that it was his time to leave this earth plane. It was his time. And, and, and he loves her and he's going to be a welcoming committee for everybody over there and he's going to be he's going to make it fun for when people go over there because he was always fun here and he will be fun there like he's somebody that I would like to meet when I get over there because he would like try to scare people like I would <laughs> boo <Yeah. laughs> he's very he's He's got a great sense of humor. Um, there's a C or S sound, but I don't know where that's coming from. He's trying to tell me about a C or S. S. Is that your your friend? Mm -hmm. She starts with S. Mm -hmm. In her name, is there an N mm -hmm. in it? Is it S T or Susan or Sandy? I don't know. It's S with an N. Is it mm -hmm. S H? Mm -hmm. Sharon Close. or Shannon mm -hmm. Shannon she, totally sh totally he, she needs to know she just needs to know and to and the one thing that spirits feel bad about is when they see their loved ones on the earth taking responsibility or feeling guilty or suffering beyond what they need to 
beyond the normal grief, it's hard for them to watch. And he loves her so much, and it's hard for him to watch. It's kind of weird, but it was his time to pass, and he didn't suffer. And I think the greatest gift any of us could have on this earth is when we pass over to the other side not to suffer. Mm -hmm. She has his, I don't know if she has his shirt. Mm -hmm. She wears his shirt or has his shirt, and she wears it. Tell him he tell her he knows it. <laughs> Was he cremated? You don't know. I don't know. And why is he showing me sh his tennis shoes? Did one fall <laughs> off when he died or something? His Maybe. sneakers. There's a sneaker. She doesn't have his sneakers, does she? She might. I don't know. There's something. Oh, and especially at Christmas. I don't know. Around Christmas, did. Why is she, he showing me Christmas? Did something happen? Did she put a stocking up for Christmas? Did she, was there some, did she have a gift for him? I don't know. Quite possibly. There's something about Christmas he's telling me, or he still hangs out with them at Christmas. Maybe mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> That'd be to cool. know that he's, maybe they have their old stockings from them when they were younger. Some, oh, I don't probably, know. yeah. But there's something about, he wants them to still include him. Mm -hmm. Not like, oh, let's not talk about it. No. He's dead. Because that's not it. He, they right. want to include him and his energy. Love is the bridge that connects us to the other side. And the love that he brings to her and she brings to him is really important. And I think you're a really nice lady, Jen, because you really came here for your friend more than for <laughs> yourself. You're, an, you're, you're a selfless, nice lady. And Thank you did a beautiful thing by allowing him to come in here. Oh. I'm glad he's hanging around. <laughs> I think I'm done. Mm -hmm. Do, you have any Do you have any questions? You want to talk about you? No, not necessarily. You sure? Yeah. I mean, maybe a little more on the J thing with the health with... Oh, your mom, the Jackie? Mom. Maybe, yeah, Jackie. if you have anything else there. I feel like she needs to communicate more about her health so you'll know how to handle it and what to do with it, how to control it. Is she losing her memory at all? Oh. <laughs> Hard to say. Don't we all as we get older? <laughs> um. Is she on medicine now? S some. Some. Just make sure it's monitored right. I'm not allowed to give out no. medical advice, but I feel like she's okay. Mm -hmm. It just needs to be monitored. Yep. I'm not seeing anything traumatic. Oh, good. I just feel like it just needs to be monitored. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the one who watches her and takes care of her is you, or the, one of the main people who w give, keep an eye on her is you. So... But I can also say I feel like there's good things coming. Do you have a business? Is it your own business? Mm -hmm. I feel like things are starting to expand or grow. Are they, like, taking, like, momentum? There's on the horizon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I feel like you need to just be real proactive with it and that more, more better things will keep expanding. But there's a new element in your business that you're bringing in that you need to bring in. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. <laughs> There's a new element that's going to help you, and it may not be exactly what you've always done. Right. But it's 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 kind of like reinventing yourself, and it's going to be helpful to your – you need to market it properly, though. I don't mm -hmm. know that you know how to market it. So you need to market it properly, and it will be good around your company. I don't know if this is for you or for the next person. Do you, do you have an Ed? Edward, Ed, Fred, Ted, anything like that? You don't. Or last name Edward? No, it's not for you. It's for someone else. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. so you. much. It's that a pleasure. Was, that was amazing. Well, thank you. Yeah. Like, 
I could not have Googled that one, right? No. <laughs> no, I mean, that it was a very long time ago. So he's, Was it? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm, I'm... It's very hard. It's very difficult to be the driver of a car that your loved one dies in. I can't even imagine it. Me either. I can't imagine. So, yeah. But Shannon's a, a lovely person, she, and she deserves to free herself from that. Yes, she does, for sure. Thank so, you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Well, that was the, uh, the ironic thing is that I really didn't have an agenda coming in. I didn't. I don't have a trauma going on or anything like that. So the fact that she she did pick up on just about the most traumatic thing that I've experienced, which was the death of Richie, my best friend's little brother, um, that was amazing. I mean, he was on my list of names, and he was really the only one I really wanted to talk to because we've been trying. He. This was many, many years ago. We were 16 when it happened, and he was 12. So we were talking, um, you know, 30-some years ago. And, um, you know, it's always been a mystery. You know, when you know, do you think we'll see him? And, you know, for years, my friend couldn't sleep. Uh, she couldn't turn all the lights out. She didn't want to see him. I mean, she did, but she was afraid. She was, because that's, you know, that's really the main thing I had going on. So, But I didn't know it. I mean, I, he was on my list, but... You know, there's other people, you know, and you never know who's going to show up to these events. So <laughs> it was kind of neat that it was him. I just want to thank Jen for allowing me to read for her and that, you know, it, it, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to do the work I do. And I appreciate when people trust me to read for them. And people have asked and emailed, do I do readings? Yes, I do private readings for people. I read on by the phone, I read on Skype. I, a friend of mine said, well, you're like a plumber, you work by the hour, and, and I do. I, and, but I love everything I do, I've never gotten sick of it. And I do groups and I teach. I teach groups of, of, of how to listen to your intuition, which you guys would be star students. <laughs> You would, and I really appreciate you both being here. It it, mean, it really means a lot to me. Well, and I adore I, you. I loved you the moment I met you when we did the Untold. You. So thanks for thank having Thank you. Us. Thank you. Can I just say one thing for you about? I feel like people are going to approach you to do a TV show together. Has that happened yet? It just happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling about that. And I feel like you have to be careful who, what you do, who you do it with, and how you do it if you want to talk privately another time or after the show or whatever, I'm happy to connect with you guys because you have to be careful about your brand and how you do what you do. Yeah. And it's gotta be the right people. But yeah. definitely there's this opportunity, but I know, I know the book is really good and there's, I think you wanna still act though. I think there's a part of you that still wants no to question act. question about that. Yeah, and I feel that you're gonna be able <laughs> to do that in time too. And I, I, you, you might do surgery on a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's when that the green color. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Great. Okay, well, okay. Nikki, I want to thank you for being, oh, she's like she's shaking good. her head. <laughs> Nikki, thank you so much for, for helping me out, honey. Of course. Thank you for letting me. Of course. And I'll see you, I'll see you next week. Yay. Soon. I want to thank Elisa, my, my producer, Elisa Rothstein. Amazing. John who's here, Tony Sweet, Gina Rugolo, uh, and especially my guest, is it Dr. and Mrs. Dubrow, or it's, Do it's Dr. Terry Dubrow and Heather Dubrow. Right. It's Dr. Terry Dubrow and Mrs. Dubrow <laughs> and Mrs. Okay. Just, she's just Mrs. Dr. Terry That's Dubrow. It. Okay. That's all I get now. <laughs> so everybody, thanks for watching. You can also watch this on YouTube at char.net. Just go to char.net and uh, you can watch it over and over again because Terry will because he wants to see himself over and over and over. That, I that's what I hear. That's Terry true. likes to see himself. Okay, anyway. I do. God bless you. Be well and stay in the white light. <laughs>